This is Johnny, a resident of Townsend, Tennessee. Johnny leads a pretty average life in every respect other than his love life. His love life is simply terrible. My love life is simply terrible. This is the story of how that aspect of his life completely changed. This is Brittany. She is not willing to let go of her boyfriend and demands everything from him. Even when Johnny says something like, Hey, Brittany, I, uh, <clears throat> I think that we should um, uh, break up. I, 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 I just think that our relationship is, isn't is going oh, in the direction nonsense. that- Oh, nonsense. You love me too much. See you tomorrow, sweetie. Okay, bye. S see you tomorrow. Now you can see why his love life is simply terrible. <sighs> My love life is simply terrible. Every day after Brittany goes home, Johnny comes down to this river to think. He sits on the rock next to the river and questions how in the world he could have ever gotten stuck with that brat. It truly is terrible. Today, however, is a little bit different as Johnny finally finds the means to change the course of his relationship. Hello? Who's, who's there? Wait, wait, what are you doing here? I thought I was the only one who knew about this place. Yes, yes, you. I mean, who else would I be talking to? I mean, what are you doing? Wait, you can see me? Yeah, yes, of course I can see you. Why wouldn't I be able to? You can hear me too? Uh, yes. Isn't that normal? I mean, I guess. It's just that nobody's been able to see or hear me in years. Oh, I'm. I'm sorry. Are, are you okay? I mean, yeah. I just thought that I'd never be able to talk to anyone again. Who are you? I'm so confused. That's a weird name. No, 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 no. That, that, that's not my name. It's that's more of just like an act. I'm, I'm John. Who are, who are you? I'm Abby. Nice to meet you. This is insane. I haven't been able to interact with anybody in 45 years. Wait, 45 years? Yeah, 45. I've been a bit lonely. No, but that. That's impossible. You look like you're my age. How did, how did you do that? Oh, right. I'm actually dead. I drowned in this river about 45 years ago, and I've been haunting the riverbed ever since. Holy crap. What's the matter? You look like you've seen it. Oh. But, right. but you're a ghost? I mean, yeah, I, I guess so. As Johnny processed this information, a billion different ideas flooded his mind. First, he thought about screaming his head off and running away as fast as he possibly could. <laughs> Johnny then thought he would try and attack Abby so he can get away. Are you trying to kill me? I'm literally already dead. Johnny then realized it was all a dream. What? But it actually, uh, wasn't a dream. What? Hey. You okay? You spaced out a bit there. Johnny then realized what Abby had said earlier about the fact that nobody other than him had seen her in 45 years. He then thought about Brittany, processed it for a moment, then it came to him. Ha 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 ha!
<laughs> Thanks for the help, Abby. That was perfect. Anytime, <laughs> Val. That was hilarious. Oh, wait. wait. You want to help me scare my brother whenever he gets home? Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> yes. And so here ends the story of Johnny's terrible relationship with Brittany. It was truly a long time coming, and Johnny's only reasonable explanation for the people who asked about the circumstances was that Brittany had been ghosted. Thank you.